Hello, my mad potatoes! Welcome to Mad Potatoes. That sounds like some horrific disease that has been packaged into spuds, and then when you consume them, you turn into a giant fanged potato, and then have to go on a bloodthirsty slaughter rampage and convert other people into your potato legion! That- sorry, I just had really, really bad flashbacks. I mean, um, I've not been in that situation. What are you- what are you talking about? We'll talk about horrific slaughter later. Jesus! No, we won't talk about horrific slaughter! I'm just gonna move on with things! So we got to the next area, and then we were blocked by feathers, and it turns out, thanks to you guys, I'm not actually being an idiot! You can't get feathers for a while for some very specifically strange and weird reason. So we're waiting for this research to come in, and now we can forge Comet Fire! Well, that sounds very, very, very out of this world. Because it's a comet weapon! Oh, man. I mean, am I not just the funniest in the world? I think I'm just the funniest in the world. Yeah, you better, you better polish that, recipes. You better polish that because you are so close to being murdered! <laughs> A lot of violence in today's potatoes. A lot of violence in today's potatoes. Alright, so this weapon is looking pretty neat, and I have a feeling it's going to bring in a fairly sizable amount of money. Let's feed Roast, make sure he remains nice and plump for if we ever have a food shortage and need to, need to, you know, you know, it would be sad, it would be sad, but you know, he is there for that. Wow, we have mystical. In fact, we have precise, so that is brilliant for this. We are going to have the precise. Uh, precise, I'm going to call it precision. <laughs> oh, can he resist? All right, this is some precise precision. The yeah, answer is made from a flaming comic that came from Olympus. Hashtag sounds legit. Well, I can believe it. I can believe it. All right, so weapons. Let's see for now what we got. Let's see who would like this. Let's see if Laura Craft can merchant the hell out of it. Let's see what's gonna go down. Probably do need to do some more research, that I will admit. Oh, 3,384 plus 11 levels. In fact, all three of them are gonna give a fairly nice amount, considering it's not a weapon that everyone can use. Only an A for precise precision! You didn't even say it was precise, Roland Quickfire! You can quickfire yourself off to bed! Yeah, go to your room. I don't really know where I'm going with this. All I know is that we need to forge another one of those bad boys. Though, to be fair, we could research the next axe. Yeah, I think we should research the next axe for now. I think that makes a lot more sense. So, researching this one. Wow, that looks like what a hell of a bow, but I don't think we completely need it. Whoa! Hold up! Is that a scythe? Is that a scythe? I mean, this weapon's technically better, but that's a scythe! Okay, I need this in my life. Um, I'm sorry, I just- I need this. I need this in my life. And while that's happening, let's send our explorers out doing their thing. Making sure we keep lovely and well stocked on our provisions. Off you go, everybody. Have fun! Enjoy yourselves, truly! Come back with a grin on your face, or you're fired! Okay, we want Bulk Bogan back down there. Russet Peters, down you go. You're not very happy, Russet Peters. I will, I will begrudgingly give you a vacation, but I'm not too happy about this. I'm not too happy about this. I'm not sure why I've got to pay for it, really. I mean, if you want a vacation, you can pay for it your damn self, you lazy son of a spud. And our research is complete. You can now forge the sickle. That's nice. I just needed to see what that was. Okay, so now let's actually forge uh, this ridiculous looking one. Like this, this looks like it could cleave you in twain. Have you ever looked at a weapon and gone, you know what? You know what? That weapon very much looks like it could cleave foes asunder. There is a good bit of potential cleavage going on there. Let's not think about potato cleavage, actually, now that I think about it. We won't want to be offensive to Laura Craft over there. <laughs> oh, good, we got more enchantments. That is most useful. And more there, although bulk, 
not really finding that much compared to usual. The research is complete. We can now forge the slasher. That is awesome. So let's get that going on. Yeah, it's just generally a better weapon in every way than the sickle. That is unfortunate. Also featured in various 90s thriller movies. Lovely. We want to pile on its attack. Oh, cool. Our smiths are actually really moving up in the world. I'm quite proud of this one. I'm sure you are. You know how to handle a blade, don't you, Laura Craft? I bet you've got lots of experience. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but we're just going to carry on. Barbaric! Nice. Uh, that is going to buff it a wonderful amount. And we've actually got the awards coming up soon. I'm going to call this the Jason. You know, it's a slasher. I think that's barbaric Jason. <laughs> I'm liking that a lot. All right, so we got the axe. Let's make ourselves the comet fire. I think that is only reasonable. And then we kind of should give ourselves a another bit of... Oh, deity's packed. Is that the god of all spuds? Bask in his holiness! My enemy forge has been improved. Uh, that is lovely. Ah, oh, see? We're the chosen ones! I always knew we were the chosen ones. Oh, God, no. It's time for the golden hammer. Damn it! We just didn't finish this bow. We better have won something. We better have won something, you stylish spud, you. Ladies and gentle spuds! They missed a trick there, did they not? God, I hate it when you miss tricks, when you go for the forward flip and you smash your face and you never lift down the shame. <laughs> Most accurate, powerful, and best. Why is it magical and speed? Part of this. I don't know. I'll just assume it's just the bureaucracy of the award ceremony. I mean, everyone knows they're not, like, actually indicative of anything. I mean, who cares about the golden weapons? The most accurate weapon. Damn, we don't even have a run-in for this. Is that just a bit of tape? That looks like a bit of tape. I mean, that straight up looks like a bit of tape. And my accurate weapon is, as well, the very inaccurate looking shotgun pistol type deal. Not sure how they managed to pull that one off, but that's fine. Oh, the barbaric Jason! It's in for a chance! It's in for a chance! Alright, bribe. Bribe. Bribe, 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 bribe. Oh. Oh, that's, um... Ah. Uh, that's, uh... That's, um, not good. That's not good. Oh, 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 okay, all right, here we go, here we go, all right, I did a fair amount of bribing, did a fair amount of bribing, I didn't realize you could get caught, so that was my bad in the previous round, come on, yes, what is up, money talks, that's how we do, give me the money, give me the money, 15k, raise the potato roof, I don't know where I'm going with this, but all I know is uh, my weapons, they're made of gold. 15,000. I mean, that is what we need right here. That is what we need. Let's whack precision on this. That is, that is where it's at. Congratulations, team. We did it. Uh, made of money. I don't know why we're doing this, but it's a precise made of money. <laughs> all right, I do want to research... Something a little bit more magical. I feel like we should do that. Yes, there we go. And I guess, why should, can we not? Ah, whatever. Let's just tell, get Russet on the job. And then in the meantime, I guess we may as well just sell some weapons. There's no real reason not to. We'll complete the next objective. Off you go. And then I guess also we may as well have an explorer. I mean, there's, there's no reason not to maximize everything. All right. So the, um, the award-winning... Weapon, Necromancer Ned. I mean, his primary stats are magic, his primary stats attack. I feel like maybe he's not the best person to sell this to. So I'm gonna get the 4,000 over here. I think that makes sense. Then we'll hold on to Barbaric Jason for now. And, you know, tactics. You gotta lay down your tactics. And that should. Oh, yes. 10 out of 10. Would buy again. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. I think you are going to go on vacation as well. Agent, I've been wondering. Yes, what do you do? Apart from collecting your cut from me. 
I uh, run my own business. I service contracts. What sort of contracts? Uh, contracts like the ones you do. I fill people's requests. Uh, you know, if there's a part of my question you aren't answering. I do contracts to help people. That's it, really. Okay, don't answer it then. How did you and your grandpa meet anyway? So we met in school. We went to the school for potatoes, exceptionally gifted in handling metal. Your grandpa, Batata, was a master blacksmith. Of course, he learned so quickly he surpassed the teachers. And what about you, Agent? I studied blacksmithing too, but after a while it was clear I had a different kind of ability. I didn't have a choice but to give up blacksmithing. It would have gotten me nowhere. What was his ability, Agent? Oh, would you look at time? I'm late for an appointment. <laughs> oh, Agent. Oh, Agent. Alright, so now we need to get to 3,000 frame. We can have the White Jade Wand. Well, that seems exciting. The White Jade Wand. A load more stuff from Bulk Bone. Try to fight! A potato girl giggles as a friend, a large player in a deep seat explosion suit, lumbers in. He breathes heavily, eyes glowing yellow. Boom! Yeah! That's how we do! That is how we do. Alright, let's make ourselves uh, this wand then. It seems only fair. Philander Smith's actually getting reasonably good at magic quite quickly, so this is good. I kind of want some more tickets as well. I also have no idea how to hire more potatoes, so I'm just going to assume that that's fine. Alright, Mystical White Jade Wand. Whistical white jade wand. Wand white jade. Wonder white jade. There we go. Mystical wand white jad. <laughs> Good God. Uh, sometimes when you just don't want to name a weapon. Okay. You receive a weapon request. The final fight. Elrado Mage Bond. Minimum stats for you to attack. I'm from a generic Japanese video game, I need to save the world, give me something to work with. Uh, okay, yeah, let's do it. So we need to give a 302 attack weapon. Don't we technically already have that in the form of... Uh, in the form of uh, the uh, barbaric Jason that we made? So we've already forged this one, so we can't do that. So I guess what I will make, just for the sake of it, is the sickle. Just to say that I've made the sickle, and see if we can't boost its attack up to unreasonable levels for our friend over here. It will be most lovely in his final fight. And then if we give it the barbaric, that will take it over the 300 requirement. Easily enough, 345, there you go. And it's going to be, of course, the final fighter. Because it's for his final fight. You know, we gotta... We gotta, we gotta make sure it's tailored to our customers. We want them to be happy customers. 2,600. Somehow, I think we can afford that. Shop upgrades. Is there anything we don't? Ooh, forging XP. Yeah, I like that one. Let's uh, do that one over there. Attack. No, we'll want magic. That's kind of the hardest one to go. Oh, yeah, the potato statue. All right, I'm buying the potato statue. I need this in my life. That'll do. I don't want to waste too much money just in case we get a little bit too uh, low on cash. Off you go. Enjoy your holiday. And then we're going to have an explore with Bulk and Russet while she is off gallivanting round the land. Going out for a walk. And now Paul the Londa Smith. I can't keep waiting for the- Oh, was I supposed to click on him? I thought he'd just come back in four days, and then if I had a weapon to give him, I'd have a weapon to give him. That kind of sucks. That is- that is my bad. I did not know how it worked. Damn you, world! I even made a lovely weapon for him. Ah, well, we'll probably actually get more money uh, than we would have done for the contract from selling it, because it's a particularly good weapon as well. Okay, so I guess then it is time to sell some more weapons. So yeah, all I can literally do is sell them here. Boom, boom, boom. We may as well just see. I mean, I probably won't end up selling Barbaric Jason, but you never know. You do never know. Yeah, yeah, it just doesn't seem worth it. Just doesn't seem worth it. Do not sell. There we go. He can grab some 12 levels from that wand. That seems to be the way we go. And then finally, uh, that kind of sucks. That really kind of sucks. I mean, that levels him up to max, so that's nice. But I don't think that's worth the money, so I'm just going to hold on to that for now as well. So really, we're kind of struggling to shift stock. I never thought I'd be struggling to shift stock. And we have achieved our fame! 
Ah, ha, 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 we could hire more smiths now. Some channels may cost you more spatulas, but you stand a better chance of finding stronger candidates. Uh, not far into the map, if you find strong candidates, you can choose to fire them. Use this power responsibly. Ha, <laughs> ha, Russet Peters. Oh, you. I really want to fire you, but I think, like, it would be... I feel like it would be irresponsible. I will admit, I feel like it would be irresponsible. Okay, how do we have to do this one? That's an easy contract for 5,300. I feel like we should just do that. Like, straight up. I'm gonna do it. I mean, I feel like we could... You know, we're kind of wrecking it. You know, we're absolutely annihilating it. We'll pay everyone their salaries. I think we'll complete this contract. I mean, we've reached the magic pretty quickly. Oh, it's going to be close, actually. We were going up really fast because we reached the magic and the accuracy. Oh, no, we're just going to fail. Ah, uh, that sucks. That really sucks. So where do I hire, hire Smiths, then? It told me... Ah, here we go. Set up a showcase. Confirm. Great, let's showcase, see what the results are going to be. Yay! All right, who we got? Who we got? Wow. We can have a cat, Tato. We can have a cat, Tato. It's a cat, Tato. It costs a lot to hire things. That's not the best. Hmm, do I even want to hire? That's 4.4. I feel like for now, then, I should wait to hire till I've got a sizable amount of money. So I guess, well, I mean, I don't know how to get back to old areas, so I assume at this point I should just straight up sell. I mean, you want speed and magic, and you want speed and magic. So actually, I think what I should do then, because I can't make the feather dagger, I will research the next best one and see if we can't get that going really well. I think maybe that'll work out. Off you go, Bulk Bergen. You got this covered, and then we'll forge those daggers and just really have a generally happy life. A happy potato life. While we all admire this lovely statue. I mean, is that not just a solid piece of architecture? Because it really, really is. Okay, a dagger complete. The Scramasax! What a weapon. What a weapon. I assume I can make this one. I can indeed. That's not that much worse, is it? Speed, boom, bulk bogan, off you go. Whack a load of speed on that. That actually was a load of speed that he just whacked on that. That is phenomenal. So I basically, I'm just going to chain make these back to back. Cook your own oh, with an enchanting stone. Boom! Nice. We just got a load of magic. And we have a lot of nimbles. So this is good. I'm going to call it a saxophone. Saxophone. It's a nimble saxophone. English dude just really wanted a fancy name for a knife. He heard it sold well. Well, I can definitely agree with him there. Like some more speed down. There we go. He didn't actually do as good of a job that time. I'm a little bit upset with you, Bulk Bogan. I'm a little bit, a little bit cross. Holy potatoes! Okay. Oh, just a dare from my friends. You hold back manly tears and wave goodbye. <laughs> the manliest of tears. The manliest of tears. I assure you, they were such manly tears. <laughs> Nimble manly tears! <laughs> Who's gonna wield that into battle? Fear my nimble manly tears! <laughs> oh, this game, this uh, game is just really where it's at. It is where it's at. Okay, that's gonna make it lovely. And then finally, so these three daggers should get us a fairly solid amount of... Uh, Solid money. There we go. Nimble, solid money. And sell the weapons. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Our triple dagger threat. Obviously, our merchant. She's struggling to level up, which is kind of concerning. Though I think this is going to pull in a fairly nice amount. Really? Prime is that speed, and he likes... Oh, he dislikes daggers. I see. All right, well, I guess you could have it for 2,700. Probably should have looked at that. Not sell, and do not sell. 
This kind of sucks. We're really, really struggling to have the kind of weapons that work here. Is there a new category of weapon we can research that we've just not yet? Like, is this what's going on? What are you? You look pretty cool. I assume that's the staff before the one that I ended up making. Oh, ha ha! Guns! Here we go. What was I doing with my life? Boom! We are about to have some much, much heavier weaponry. Next time. <laughs> my name has been Rage. Thank you very much for watching today's uh, Holy Potatoes. Uh, it has been... Uh, most uh, spudderific. Remember to like if you enjoyed this. It really does help, guys. And subscribe for more. A oh, good boy. The Silent Grasshopper.